Let's celebrate the magic of short stories and poems. They are truly magical, aren't they? They make us feel happiness, heartbreak, horror, hope, hatred, and so much more. Namaste people. Welcome to Shweta's Basket, a weekly stories and poems podcast, and I'm your host Shweta Singh. So, I have a beautiful poem for you today. In this day and age, we can all use a bit of positivity, can't we? So this one is titled Nay Aas, that's New Hope, and has been penned down by Arthi Joshi. Now Arthi is an agriculturist by profession and nature lover by heart. She likes to explore different forms of art with her two beautiful and wonderful daughters. She loves to spend time amidst nature and tries to express its magnificence through words in her poems and through colors in her paintings. You can read more from her on her blog Swad Pahadka which she started last summer to capture her childhood memories before they were lost to the bygone lanes of memories and the vagaries of ever busy days. Here you will find her ruminating about her mother and her daughters and festivals and traditions the link to her blog will be in the show notes so this is nai aas written by arti joshi naya pratah aaya nai aas lekar naya geet gaun नए सुर पिरो कर नए स्वप्न देखू नई कल्पना कर नया प्रातः आया नई आस लेकर नया बीज बन पा नए अंकुरों से नया पुष्प विकसा नई कोपलों से नया सा ये नभ है नई सी धरा है नई सुगंध से महकी हवा है संकल्प नया ले नए इस पहर पर नया प्रातः आया नई आस लेकर नई प्रेरणा हो नए शिखर की नई ऊर्जा से नए पथ पे जाऊं सुगम हो या दुर्गम मार्ग अनुभव नए हो नई राह अपनी स्वयं में बनाऊ साहस हृदय में रहे यू ही निरंतर नया प्रातः आया नई आस लेकर नया प्रातः आया नई आस लेकर नया गीत गाऊ नए सुर पिरो कर नए स्वप्न देखू नई कल्पना कर नया प्रातः आया नई आस लेकर आई लव दिस पोएम फॉर इट्स पॉजिटिविटी एंड प्रोएक्टिवनेस इट्स नॉट अ पैसिव पोएम इट्स अ टेक चार्ज काइंड ऑफ अ पोएम <laughs> I love the lines about the path whether it is easy or tough but the emphasis was on gaining new experiences and about having courage in our heart I just love those lines tell me which lines did you like you can comment about them in the facebook post or you can comment on the website and also do visit her blog especially if you like reading in hindi you will get a glimpse of what arti values the most She talks with deep respect and love about her mother, her paternal grandmother, her paternal aunts and her daughters. She reminisces about her childhood days and customs and traditions followed in the family. And while I was browsing through her blog, I came across these lines and they so resonated with me that I knew I had to share them with you guys. You know, she says, "Corona mahamari ke chalte mujhe IG that's her mother के पास गए हुए आज दो साल चार महीने से ज्यादा समय हो गया है कभी कभी मन करता है उसके पास चुपचाप से बैठने का गोद में सर रखकर प्यार भरी थपकी संग सोने का मन उदास भी होता है पर फोन पर उसकी एक आवाज से सारी उदासी दूर हो जाती है यही तो जादू होता है माँ का मीलो दूर से भी 
वो जाने अनजाने सारी परेशानी दूर कर सकती है आई जी बचपन में समझ में नहीं आता था पर आज खुद मां बनने के बाद आपको और अच्छे से समझ पाई हूं एंड यू नो आई फील एग्जैक्टली द सेम वे आई अंडरस्टूड माई मदर बेटर वेन आई बिकेम अ मॉम सीरियसली they are amazing people these mothers aren't they <laughs> you know one of my friends from school days she would always scold me and she would say you know if you could be 100th of how auntie was you would be a great mother <sighs> what can i say <laughs> i guess i'm not cut out from the same cloth but i am a work in progress but truly can we ever match up to our moms tell me that So while we ponder whether we can match up to our moms or not let's move on to the one question section Last week I had asked you which village was the story second life set in The right answer is Sanganer And again the first right answer came from Vasudha ji You know how a teacher has a star pupil I have a star listener in Vasudha ji So thank you Vasudha ji for your email it really makes me smile and it really makes my day but like any good teacher who encourages her other people let me just mention that the second email came from Sonal Zalkikar so thank you Sonal and thank you Vasudha ji for listening to Shweta's basket and for writing to us your emails really they encourage me to try my best to find great stories and poems for you and with that Let's move on to the one question for this week. So this week it's a more philosophical kind of a question. What does nayi aas that is new hope mean to you? Your answer can be a one liner or a whole para. Whatever it is, I will wait eagerly to read your emails. You can email your answers to shweta@shwetasbasket.com. and you will find the email id in the show notes as well we will announce the winner in the next episode and people do join me next friday when i bring you a story written by amrita wadekar titled the missing piece it's about daniel daniel who had everything going for him a good job great friends a beautiful wife but on that fateful day he was home alone why was he alone what happened on that fateful day well all answers shall be revealed next friday are you intrigued great <laughs> on that note we come to the end of this episode guys do subscribe to my website www.twaitasbasket.com so that you're always up to date with what's new in the basket and stories and poems are not the only things you will find book movie and restaurant reviews in the basket too and if you enjoyed this episode then follow or like the podcast share our episode on your timeline and tag us and recommend us to your friends help us reach more people shweta's basket is available on 18 different platforms like spotify apple and google podcasts gana jio saavn and others we're also on youtube with the complete list check out the show notes and if you want to get in touch with me i am on facebook and instagram and my handle is shweta's basket and guys in this day and age it's a good idea to have a website so if you're thinking of having one then listen on because having a good looking and professional website is just a click away in the meantime this is your host shweta singh signing off till we meet again on the air next friday bye for now do you want to have a website of your own are you a writer photographer actor makeup artist hairstylist or even a tutor singer painter journalist consultant or do you have your own cafe restaurant resort holiday home shop small business hospital or even a blog wordpress or blogspot account that you want to migrate to a good looking website well look no further the geeks will help you and you will find them in the geeks room at artunzen just click on the link in the episode description yes it's that simple to have a website my website is hosted and managed by them 
and want to know what I love about them? They are professional, customer pleasers, straight talkers and very confidently priced. So what are you waiting for? Your website is just a click away.